In the previous lesson, we had learned about KVL and KCL. Okay. Basically, now we are going to build up on this and going to learn methods which help us analyze a DC circuit. Okay. So, when I say analyze a DC circuit, what I basically mean is we want to find out what is a current going through in a particular branch. Okay. What is a branch? Branch is simply a connection between two nodes. Okay. So, when I analyze a circuit, I am trying to find out what is the current going through a branch or in other words, what is the voltage that is developed across a resistor. Obviously, if I know the value of this resistor, let's just say it is R1, then my voltage across this resistor is going to be simply I into R1. So, if I am able to find out either this current or this voltage, I am basically able to find out the other quantity. Okay. So, if I know the potential drop across a resistor, I know the current and vice versa. If I know the current, I know the potential drop across the resistor. Okay. So, the first method that we are going to look at is known as nodal analysis. Okay. So, just see what this is. This is basically your direct application of your KCL. Okay. Let's just say I have a circuit which is something like this. Okay. I have a battery over here. I have a resistor. I have another resistor over here. I have yet another resistor and this is my circuit. Okay. I want to find out what are the currents that are flowing in various branches of this circuit. Okay. Let's just say your current is I1 over here. Okay. Now your current splits into I2 and I3 over here. Okay. So this is also I2, right? This is also I2. Okay. And over here, I2 and I3 basically merges and what you have is I1 coming back. Okay. Let's just say this resistor is R1, this is R2, this is R3, this guy R4 and the EMF of this battery is E. Okay. So, basically when we are going to apply KCL at this node, what we are going to do? We are simply going to say that the sum of current which is flowing in is equal to the sum of current which is flowing out. Okay. So, basically what we are saying is I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. Okay. In nodal analysis, instead of writing this in terms of currents, what we do is we write this equation in terms of voltages. Okay. So, let's see how we are going to do that. Let's just say I apply a ground over here at this point. Okay. So, I have connected this point to the ground. Okay. So, basically what I have done is I have made this point a potential zero point. Okay. So, this is having a zero potential. This is directly connected to it. This is also zero potential. This is directly connected to it. This is also zero potential. Okay. So, you have a zero volts over here. You have a zero volts over here. You have a zero volts over here. Okay. Now, this is E volts. Okay. On this terminal, you have E volts and this is directly connected to this point. Therefore, this is E volts. Okay. The potential at this point is E volts. Right. Let's just say potential at this point is V1. Okay. Now, what is your current through this resistor? We know current is, as per my Ohm's law, voltage across the resistor upon the resistance of this resistor. Okay. What is the voltage drop across this resistor? Voltage drop 